Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I want to share with you a brilliant Shopify dropshipping business currently for sale on flipper.com for 26,000 US dollars. They're charging at 26K and that is because they have an annual turnover of 200K with an annual profit of 50K, a profit margin of in and around 25%. There's a couple of really interesting things about this business, hence why I wanted to produce this video to show you. Number one is the strategy they're using to sell their products. It's a different strategy to anything I've ever spoken about on the channel. And number two is the products they're selling. They are selling products that I used to sell eight years ago when I very first got started in drop shipping. So we'll be taking a look at exactly what those products are and we'll be taking a look at how they're able to sell what most people would call outdated and saturated products but still make it work very profitably and it has something to do with the strategy that they're using. So let's jump into the computer then and take a quick look, just a couple of minutes at the financials and some background contextual information so you can learn what their current setup is. So the business is called Panteria, it's an e-commerce jewelry store that has a social environmental impact. So most people when they get into drop shipping, it's because they want to make more money right. They don't really care about having a positive effect on local communities or having any kind of positive effect other than on their own bank accounts. And by having these social and environmental impacts, it can be a strategy you can use to your advantage as kind of like a win-win situation. So not only does it help your business make more money because there's an environmental benefit or a moral benefit from the consumer standpoint of view, rather than go to these one of these massive um, household name big corporations that are purely for profit, they can shop with a local smaller business that perhaps pledges one pound from every sale or pledges to plant a tree or whatever it may be. So not only does your business make more money, but you're also having a positive impact on your local area, on communities, or benefiting certain charities. In Pan Terrier's case, for every piece of jewelry purchased, they pledge to plant a tree, which is a really, really nice touch. Obviously, environmental consciousness is becoming a lot more popular um, and more and more people are taking those things into account with everything they do. So the site age is just two years. They haven't been in business for very long at all. The monthly profit is 4.5K with a profit margin of 25%. Let's head down then. So just to kind of give you some information on what their current setup is. So if we scroll down, where is it? If I can find it. It also includes contact with Chinese supplier for the production of accessories and logo packaging. So we'll take a look at some of the ad content they use and generate these sales. And what you'll notice is that the products are supplied in a private labeled bag. It's a really nice touch. It's really professional, of course. Um, it separates you apart from any other drop shipper. And this is something that more and more suppliers are having the capability and ability to supply without having to ask us as business owners to commit to say 200 units so they can print 200 at a time and you pay a fee for them to sit in their warehouse that they dispatch as they go. More and more suppliers do have the machinery and the setup and the capabilities to print on demand the packaging to go along with the actual physical product as well. These guys also have stock of 7,000 articles. I'm assuming that means units, so basically 7,000 products which are currently being held in a warehouse somewhere. This makes sense. Anybody watching this video, the second you have two weeks of consistent profitability with a product, you should always, always, always be looking to stock the product yourself. Well, not sorry, not stock the product yourself, but have stock or pay for stock of the product. When you're buying one product at a time, it will be significantly more expensive versus buying say 200 or 500 units at a time. So the second you have that proof of concept and validation that you can shift a stock of product and when your ads are running, they will sell a product, then the natural progression is to be obtaining quotations for a stock quantity, for a bulk quantity. So these are their financials from the past 12 months. As you can see, it's still an active business. There's clearly kind of spikes um, and peaks in sales naturally through the Q4 period with their best month being December just gone with $63,000 in turnover 
and $18,000 in profit. A total annual revenue of 220, if I'm rounding up, of course, with an annual profit of 53,000. So not bad at all. A pretty healthy and decent income, approximately double, uh, more like one and a half times that of what the annual income is here in the UK. So a good business and one of this size, they are outsourcing a lot of that too and probably doesn't take much time to maintain. Let's jump onto their Shopify store then and take a look at their setup. So their logo is a hint of what the product is that they're selling and look at what their banner image is. It's the forest, the deforestation, which is the mission that they're trying to combat and fight against. They're playing on those emotional heart spring strings and rather than say buy our product, it's saying help us save the planet. So they're kind of like indirectly a charity they're not obviously a charity but that's the marketing angle they're going for instead of saying buy our product they're saying help us save the forests help us plant more trees and for every donation in return we'll supply you with a product and it's kind of like a clever spin what they're doing let's move down then and scroll through so billions of trees are cut down this has all been translated from Italian into English if there's any kind of like dodgy translation going on they're giving more kind of background and contextual information so it feels more real for the consumer story marketing um, or storytelling is a brilliant form of marketing by getting people to read through your story and buy into it and connect with it they're much more likely to support it if we come up into our Koala Inspector, let's go to products and go to best sellers. And this is their best selling product. And we'll just wait for this to load and translate accordingly. So our project, again, instead of going straight into buy our product, buy our product, it's very much, we're gonna plant a tree, we're gonna plant a tree, buy this and we'll plant a tree. Here is our initiative, one pendant for you and one tree for animals. For every pendant purchased, we plant a tree in Australia to save koalas, flying squirrels, so on and so forth. One tree planted, one pendant, one planted tree. That message is absolutely everywhere on the website. There's nowhere you can turn or nowhere you can look without seeing that message. They're really kind of driving that home. And they have this really nice image here, which it looks like a stock image. I'm not sure if it is their team or the charity they're working with. Maybe it's an image from the charity they're working with because they are partnered with one, but it's great as social proof. It's great at showing what there is they're trying to, to accomplish and what their mission is. What's really important as well is they have proof. They have evidence that they are fulfilling on their promises. You should not, I do not condone for one second, somebody saying they're going to do something in order to encourage people to spend their money with them and then not fulfill on that promise. If you are saying that you're gonna donate or you're going to plant trees or you're going to do something, make sure you fulfill on that and make sure you choose something that's close to your own heart, whether it's a local charity or shelter in your community, whether it's a charity that's close to your heart because they've helped a certain family member and use it as a way to have a positive impact on what you're doing and also a way to kind of like keep a record and blog what it is you're doing. Every time you make that donation, if you have to go down to the shelter in person, take some pictures, take some content, show the evidence of the good work that you're doing and this will benefit your business and in turn will benefit the charity or shelter or whatever it is that you're working with. Okay, so let's have a look at their products. If you've been in the dropshipping space for a while, you've probably seen every single one of these or certainly variations of them. Um, this, this, and this, and I think this one, and maybe even this one too, are all like some of my very first winning products. These bracelets with these kind of lava stones on. If you go back to some of my earlier YouTube videos um, where I document past winners and my very first ever Shopify store, you'll see I was selling these exact products um, seven, eight years ago. The reason they're able to replicate that success or have success with such old products that anybody can source and can and set up a dropshipping store around is that strategy that they're using, which is different to anybody else. Instead of just posting a picture or a video of a bracelet on social media and using it as an ad creative and saying, hey, buy this awesome product, buy this lovely bracelet, buy this cute bracelet, Instead of saying buy this bracelet, they're saying help us plant more trees, 
buy a bracelet and in return we'll do this. Speaking of ad creatives then and social media, let's jump onto the Facebook ads library and take a look. So what we can see is 1300 results. These guys have tested, 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 tested to find what works for them. And what we're gonna do is just gonna take the first top line because I usually find that's what influences the results from the ad the most. If it's not the visual, it's those first two lines. There's a famous saying, of course, in marketing. It might have even been Alex Hall Mosey that said it, that 80 cents of every dollar spent on ads is spent on those first two lines. So their first two lines, it says, give the gift of life and love. Plant a tree in the name of those you love. So a nice kind of like little poem type sentences or phrases there that says what they're doing as well. So really nice. Um, introduction to the primary text there. Those, those lines, those texts above your creative are what's called the primary text. It looks to me as well that they've followed this kind of same strategy and um, through all the different creatives that they're using too. So they must have split tested this um, and found that's what works best for them. As we come down then, just to finish the video off, we'll take a look at some of the different pieces of content that they're using. So image ads, which are great because CPMs are super, super cheap for image ads. Um, it looks like, again, just kind of like stock imagery of somebody with one of these on their wrist. They've got their logo on there, um, a nice big arrow, really attention grabbing so people naturally kind of, their attention goes to what the arrow is pointing at. And then I'm assuming this will say something like give the gift of life and love. Or I'm assuming this at the top one, I really wish I could speak another language, uh, probably says one bracelet equals one tree planted. They do have some video creatives as well. So I'll just bring this up here. And they've obviously invested in some forms of influencer marketing. And as we can see there, that's the bag that it comes in with the logo on. So it's a really nice touch. And trust me, it's the little details like that that can really, really, really separate you from the crowd um, and really and significantly increase your chances of success. If we take a look at some more content here, again, the feature in the bag with the logo on so in instantly it legitimizes the business when you see the logo on the product. Even if it's something that you wouldn't consciously think about subconsciously seeing that instantly legitimizes the business and you will have seen me um, say it before in past youtube videos the biggest hurdle you have to overcome is trust so just by showing your brand name constantly and your mission statement planting a tree for every purchase then it's super super important for winning the customer over what's really good here too is actually show again the proof of what it is that they're doing because naturally popping up and interrupting somebody's day on social media naturally they're going to be hesitant that you're actually going to fulfill on the promise that you're making so by showing evidence that you are fulfilling that promise again it just kind of puts any kind of hesitations to rest okay and so with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up there but before you go before you leave i have a very special and secretive message just for you so i do indeed have a mentorship program it's a kind of like roll in on a monthly basis. I work one to one with people and communicate on a daily basis via WhatsApp. I'm saving this message for the end of the video because I usually find there's people who watch the first couple of minutes and skip through the video and then leave and move on to the next shiny thing. They're not the sorts of people that are serious about drop shipping and committed to drop shipping. If you can't watch a 15 minute video, then you're not the sort of person that I want to work with, to be honest. So the fact you're seeing this message, you most likely are that person. You most likely are dedicated and committed to building a successful dropshipping business. If you would like some one-to-one -one help doing so, then I want to invite you to book a Google Meet with myself. We can sit down for 20, 30 minutes and have a chat about where you're at now, where you want to be in the next one, two, three months time with my help. And if it works for both of us and we get along and we like the idea of working with each other, I'll invite you to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis. If that sounds good to you, head to the bottom of this video in the video description. You'll see this mentorship link. Click that link, it'll take you through a series of questions. It's just kind of like a gatekeeping process, again, to keep the time wasters out. But if you've got two or three minutes to answer some questions so you can jump on a call with myself, then head over there now, book in a time and date, and I look forward to meeting you. Thanks.